Hi guys, and welcome to Coin Bros. I'm Elabot, and today I'll be talking about how to create your home server on Mindtest. Okay, so yeah, it'll help you out with this. So, okay, so you want, so you're playing Mindtest, and you thought to yourself, well, I want to make a server because I like playing on servers, but I want to make my own server, you know, because I build my own stuff. I'm administrator. I can do whatever I want, you know. And I totally, I totally understand what you're feeling. So, um, before um, I go into this, um, you can either buy your own server, buy your own mind test server, which means you buy a mind test server and you could uh, put your own save file on there. And, and I, I believe, I believe it's not for sure that you don't have to have any computer running in your house. It'll just always be running over there on that server. And um, you have to pay for it though. About every month, you have to pay for it. Um, at least that's what I've heard from somebody. He had to pay for it every month and, um, it, it costs money. So, but there's another way you can do it. Another way is you can also buy, if you buy a separate computer or if you already have a separate computer, have it, uh, make it so it's just mind test on it, has your own mods and save files or whatever, and then just have it running 24 seven on at least one megabyte per second, uh, speed. Um, I, I recommend five megabytes per second, uh, internet speed. Um, but yeah, it could, the more, the more internet speed you have, the better it is. And, um, yeah, so that's something you can also do and have it running all the time. And just like, a, it's a home server, home, home server. Like you have a server running in your house all, all the time. And that's the only thing that will be on is mind test. So, um, you can do that. But we're right now we're not talking about that. We are talking about how you can create your own server at home and not have to worry about anything else. So you don't have to spend any money. So here we go. So if we, you have your regular um, board here when you log in, usually it'll be like right on single player tab. And this is Linux, I'm using Linux, and so you're using Microsoft Windows probably, or Mac, it's probably has a different user interface, but um, they all have the same tabs. So anyway, let's go. So what you wanna do is not client, not server, uh, or, no, they say, yes, server, you wanna go to server. And when you click server, um, all these will be off and public will be the only one to be checked. So, um, right now, all you need to do is don't worry about which one you're selected on. Just click new and the world name would, it could be, it's, it, it's, it's the name of your server, basically your home server. And mine is going to be your home save file. Mine is going to be test right now because it's just a test. And this is test, not real. The seed, I believe, don't take my word on it, but I believe this is the description of your world name slash server slash save file, okay? This is this is your description of it. And you can do, um, one second. You can do like, um, like this. Um, this server is safe for families. Now this, um, and it has to be safe for families uh, if you're going to be doing this for fam, at least, sorry, uh, <laughs> you have to be managing it and make sure there's no uh, guys that cuss or say weird things and they're always kicked off or whatever. Um, but anyway, you can have safer families, like no monsters or whatever. You can have different types of descriptions or whatever. Um, but right now, I'm just going to go with, oh, oh, well, I forgot, just test right now not real so um sorry for making the shout there i don't know why i was making the shout but anyway there's that um so anyway so that's the description of your channel and now you get to go to map generator what what version of the map generator do you want you want the newest version and i don't recommend clicking single nod because i have no idea what that does um you might want to look that up before you um uh, make a server just look that up i'm not exactly sure what it does but you'll be fine with ver the newest version which my newest version of mine has 0 0.4.12 is version 7 of map generator and what's this game minimal development test or mind test well minimal development test is more of a if your computer is running really slow i believe and it doesn't have that many effects and it's not really it's for it's more for if you're going to mess with mind test and try to fix it and stuff i recommend picking the original i recommend picking the original mind test which is right here and click create okay now that you got your home save file slash server right here you can now go over here um you can either put creative mode which is original creative mode 
enable damage, which is original survival mode. Now, if you have no enable damage or no creative mode, that means that you have um, survival mode with no damage, so you can't get hurt. Now, if you have both them on, you have creative mode with damage, which is interesting. So, I'm going to have them both set up, and what in the world is this public check mark? Well, that is if you want to make your server public or not. And um, this is very useful if you are like want to log in to your uh, server and then not have other people join because you're, you know, you're... You're basically setting up certain things like putting up buildings and signs of what they can and cannot do and rules and all sorts of stuff like that and preparing it or different places and portals and transportations and, you know, all that. Um, this is recommended for also leaving it off for, like, um, testing mods and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I am going to leave it at public right now. And I have now you got the server port down here. Don't worry about this yet. You got the server port. Um, I recommend ha keeping it at thirty thousand, the original. Um, if you because that works really good, it doesn't have any problems. I've I I haven't had any problems with it, and a lot of uh, people that buy servers off the mind test, they always have it at that original default, and so I recommend keeping it default. So unless you can look it up though, if you it's, and see which one's best for you, most likely at the mind test forums. Anyway. So now that we're done with this, click your test and then click configure or whatever your server's name is or save file's name is and click configure. Now this will configure all your mods and stuff that you already have on. Now you can't change the ones that are already built into um, mine test, but you can go, uh, you could go in the files and delete them, but it's not a very good idea because then you'll have like really, really minimum development tests basically. So anyway, so this will just hide the game's mods, and then you click this, and this will just hide the um, downloaded mods. And if you click both of them, it hides all everything. So anyway, so I reckon keep them all there, show them all, and then you can enable whatever you want to enable, and then disable whatever you want to disable. And I recommend enabling all your mods because that's what you want most likely. Um, have all your your all your stuff pretty cool. All your um. The game to be pretty cool. So then you click save once you got everything all everything configured with the mods. And now you just click on your save file, so that's server, type in your password, and then click start game. And unfortunately mine will not work because I am messing with mods and I've not done it before. And some of them work, some of them don't. It all depends on what type of Mind test using and stuff. It's just interesting. So I'm messing with them, so I won't be able to log in or anything like that. But um, yeah, this hopefully this video was helpful for you, helpful for you, because this is something that people don't know about, and it's just good to have to get this information out there so that people know. And this is was um, someone asked me to do this on mind test when I was playing online, and the server I was playing on was um, one's mind test server and I'll be on there every once in a while and um, also I'll be on here probably every once in a while as well as linuxgaming.us and one's mind test server those are both family safe and they will not have cuss words and if there is cuss words they'll kick that person off and it's clean and everything yes these are both family safe and very good um, the fastest one is one's mind test server but Sometimes the administrators aren't as on there as much as linuxgaming.us. So want, you, this one you just log in and start playing right away. You don't need to ask for any privileges or anything. Um, of course, it still has restrictions to how many privileges you have. So anyway, um, yeah, that is it for that. And my server, we will sometimes have beta coin bros gaming up every once in a while. But right now I'm still working on the mod, so that probably won't be up for another day maybe but it'll go off and on so don't i don't recommend you putting a lot of work onto that server so slash save file because it's just a save file on my computer and i like to play online with other people and so yeah that's where you can play with us and you can play with me on linuxgaming.us and uh once mine test server and i'll be on there so that's pretty cool so you guys can talk to me and chat with me and ask me questions and it's like you're playing with me like right there. It's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I hope the video was helpful. And if you guys want to, you can um, support the channel by subscribing. 
And uh, please check out my War Month video by just clicking the, this thing right here. Um, and you will get you will go to the War Month video, and you will be able to vote on which war game I get to play. And um, yeah, right now I got one vote of Realm Total War, and if nobody else votes, it's gonna be Realm Total War. So yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and see you guys later.